Since the dawn of eternity, four lights of hope have shone upon the world. Men flock to these lights, around which they build four peristylia. Each peristylium becomes their faith and society, the path upon which they are set. The vermilion bird, wings of fire to lift the heart. The white tiger, steely arms by which to seize knowledge. The azure dragon, unclouded eyes that see all beneath the sky. The black tortoise, a rigid shield and a well-guarded blade. But when nine and nine meet nine, Tempest Phoenix shall be ruined upon them. For without the Argito, their world, called Orients, must persist in its spiral. In this time of absolute darkness, we must unite to bring forth the light of hope. The time has come, yes. This is the dawn of a new age! And so the Militus Empire, home to the White Peristylium, invaded the neighboring dominion of Rubrum. As soon as the declaration of war was made, the Militesi main fleet swarmed into all corners of Rubrum. At the same time, a separate fleet was charged with a sneak attack on the Vermilion Peristylium. A lassie accompanied this task force. Using a lassie to invade a sovereign state was a direct violation of the Pax Codex, a treaty created by all four crystal states of Orients. The besieged Palestilium attempted to repel Militess's Magitech armies with powerful magic. Not even the mighty warships could withstand the awesome power of the summoned Eidolans. It seemed that the Militesi offensive would fail. However, the Lassie Kunmi led a special unit past Wubrin's defenses and activated a new weapon, the Crystal Jammer, neutralizing the power of the Vermilion Bird Crystal. Severed from the source of their magical powers, the Rubrum forces were quickly overwhelmed and overrun. Imperial Marshal Sid Olstein demanded of Chancellor Kalian Shival VI, the leader of Rubrum, that he surrender and transfer the Vermilion Bird Crystal to Militesi control. Your crystal cannot protect you. Resistance is no longer an option. You have six hours. You must comply with our demands, or face the full might of our forces. In which case, I promise you, the roads of Rubrum will run red with the blood of her people. the crystal guide them to salvation
999. The depths of reason shall stir. When the seal of creation is broken, a voice like thunder shall sound. And thou shalt know. That was a big intro! <laughs> Hello everyone! Welcome to the stream, and uh, here is Final Fantasy Type-0 HD. We are playing this, because obviously Final Fantasy VII Re Rebirth Hard Mode kicked my ass. And, um... We're going for it. Apparently Sid, bad guy, huh? Bad guy Sid. We haven't seen that in a while. Bandai Namco? Where was that? What? Historically, bad guy said games don't do well critically? <laughs> Maybe. Audio! Japanese! Let's go! Fuck you guys! <laughs> <laughs> how how is how are things, Kitty? Kitty what? Oh, that means. All right, can you watch the intro again? But now, good. What is history? Well... Anyway... I've never played this. Let's check it out. I have barely seen anything from it. Uh, I, I don't even know how the battle system is, or whatever. All I know is the characters. Makes, makes me think of Trails of Cold Steel, which I haven't played anyway, so... Let's check it out. Uh, uh, is platinum achievable in anything? Doesn't say. Let's go. Things are good, little one's getting better. Got like nine more of those drawings I showed you since last time. Damn! Someone's being super productive. Good. Mizukara,の運命を自分たちで決めた。そう。死ぬことを恐れずに、死に直面する恐怖を知らずに。War three hours that changed the world. Huh? Damn, Kitty. The drawings <laughs> are very popular, huh? Oh, 
みんな大丈夫だ That's true. 赤いマントの若い部屋を見なかったか見てないあんたは俺も。Did that Shoko was just kill a guy? Damn, a violent Final Fantasy. That feels good, man. This just puts uh, Rebirth in perspective. Like everything is so clean. Damn. Oh, they definitely are. This was also remastered ages ago. Ten years ago, I think. So far, I'm digging it. Digging the vibe. I 
ぬのかなマキナ。So many games, s i g n 元気だな。でも、もう一度会いたいな。You must have been not paying attention to the sponsors. Voice acting became immediately so much better. I entered a blocked scene at the start of the game. And take a screenshot of the title screen. Title card. Oh shit, I forgot this was Tabata. He's also the crimson in this game. Yeah, it's a gritty war, war torn Final Fantasy. I like the song. I hope it feels good to play. Bump up chicken. Oh, I never heard of them. Wait, it suddenly looks better because it's an engine now, and that was a cutscene.
The life armlet grants you re-raised status. Status. Yes. こちら That coupon sounded like rebirth. This girl have the longest torso ever. <laughs> is that just me? Or is it is it the arms that don't move naturally? Something weird here. I think it's the arms that are very high on the shoulders, aren't they? I don't know. Skirt is also on her hips and not waist for that style, I guess. Hold R1 to lock onto fallen enemies. Not onto enemies that are not fallen. Neutralize energy walls by defeating specific enemies or collecting phantom. Need to hold the lock, and it's hmm. Can I change it to L1? Maybe. I saw that option. Huh. 
Oh, okay, press. I'll take it. I know what attack that is. It's a it's a timing thing. Looks like a timing thing. Climb stairs. Hmm. Guys, you can climb stairs in this game. It's a timing thing. Yeah, she's weird. She looks weird. I, I don't think the other guys look weird. Just sucking MP off dead bodies. That's 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 kind of weird. That's working out. Can't jump that high. Okay. Just had to survive, I guess. Like for example, this animation is also a bit funky, but the guy still looks good. Animation itself is weird. Knowing tag. That's a collectible for a drop.
is gonna gush him then. This guy? I wouldn't be surprised if they don't all make it. This seems pretty grim. No, I hope not. This has a very limited range, huh? Alright, fuck it. Can I kill these guys? ついた奪還作戦は、スザク軍の有利に運ぶかに思われた。その力を生かせないまま損害を重ねてゆき、未だ魔導員に取り付けてはいなかった。クラス I'm not getting to keep the re-raise thing, am I? I guess that's that's kind of like a skill tree. <coughs> it's 
pretty, pretty basic, but it is, right? I can't the Maya. <clears throat> Muhammad Ruby Dragon? Who the hell are you? Who are you? Airship Lamp. Much easier to get the kill on her. Who hit me? It is. Mitsuda. Kiyagata. 
It's not, not worse than that fight last night, so... This must have been a nightmare to play on PSP though. Camera is a little close, I think, uh, for... the Mako reactor. Are we, blowing this, are we blowing it up too? Is this danger or is it illusion of danger? I think the camera is a, a bit uh, jerky. Makes me might make me a little motion sick. We'll see. Have shattered, re raise it back as worn off, of course. Oh, 
Unlocks new things. Invisibilities on what? We don't know. What a fucking pool of blood. That gibble. More each of the whole group's That's what I said. Hi, Lukuban Kano Taya, Kakuni Shimasta. Irregular of Butaya, Idiotano. Yonde Ichibutai to Kure Sambutai or Dosa. Is an Oto Arimasen. Yobi Suzuki. Ha! Looks like Gipple from Ten Two. Kotira Kusabi, Osa Kodor Hokokuniata, Ichiroku Ichibutai, Ichiroku Yobe. Ha!一六一部隊の魔法を使う連中を見たのは確かなのだな。はい。貴様はそれを目撃し逃走。その後部隊は全滅。間違いない。はい。この事実を報告する。それから逃げる者など我ら there was blitzball. You just don't play it, you manage it. Instead of FIFA, it's Football Manager.
Can I not change equipment mid-mission? Doesn't I can't swap a ring for another ring during a mission? So these guys are not listening? Using magic. Oh, we found the favorite. Holy shit. There's a snake sword user? Scratch that, she's the favorite. Shit, Odin looking. Grim. Does he not have a sword? 
Oh. I'm playing Odin? And you thought 16 was the first one! Well, where you play the summons. Yeah, yeah I meant wh where you play the summons. We don't play the summons. Prince? Dane's Leaf? Yes? Ah! Oh. Holy shit! I just insta-killed it with the Zantetsuka that I held. Change no shit. This is still ace though. Jack. He doesn't combo? He does one move? Seven. She combos. Oh, I like it. Where's this fucking robot? Oh, In the intercom, I think. In your head. あんたたちは一体その Oh, 
This looks like a game where a lot of people might die. We'll see. ここに来て覆されると she does look a bit like lightning. No, I can't change. Am I playing her because I was playing her? They say Moonlight's the point to separate crystal jammers, right? What happens? Mirau みなさんは今日のこの日をオリエンスのある院長。現部に緊張反応が。何？歴史家どもはこれをフィニスと呼ぶのかもしれませんな。うん。これは終わりの始まりなどではない。我らが生み出した最初の希望だよ。時に王歴842年、ペリシティリウム原部に向け大陸破壊兵器アルテマダンが投下された。スザクの旗が立つ時。ペリシティリウム総流を要するコンコルディア王国は第二のアルテマダンが使用されるのを避けるため自国領空及びスザク領であるルブルムの制空権防衛を開始したさらにコンコルディア王国は戦火拡大を有料し停戦への道を模索してい
型ではなかったとはいえ広告はルシを用いに侵略してきたならば我が国もルシを持って報復を行えばよいのだ面白いことを言うルシが議会の要求などで動くと思っているのかねしかし事実我が国のクリスタルは敵国のルシによって脅威にさらされたこのような状況であれば彼らも嫌だと言うはずがなかろうルシがそのような原理原則に沿うのなら苦労はしないルシはスザク・クリスタルの意思によってのみ動きますここでルシについて議論をしても解決にはならないでしょう発言よろしいかしら確か首都解放作戦にあたった候補生はクリスタルジャマーの影響を受けずに白虎ルシを撃退したと聞いていますその魔導技術を使い同等の兵士を作れないのでしょうか、うん、クリエイターステップアミーマミーアミーマミーマミーマミーマミーマミーマミーマミーマミーマミーマミーマミーマミーマミーマミーマミーマミーマミーマミーマミーマミーマミーマミーマミーマミーマミーマミーマミーマミーマミーマミーマミーマミーマミーマミーマミーマミーマミーマ制御できるのはルシだけそれとロリカ消失以後大掛かりなジャマー使用は確認されてないようだしジャマーに関してはルシに何かがあって今は使えない状況というところでしょうねそうだったとして現状を打開する策は何かあるのかね候補生の戦闘介入えっ現在の防衛戦力をそのままとし現状を打破するに最もふさわしいかと<笑>アギタ候補生ともなれば戦力になることは間違いありませんがしかしペリステリウム守護の拡大解釈にならんかねえー、ルシが動かんのでは選択の余地はなかろうそうですね院長様のご判断を仰ぎましょう今はスザク存亡の時です誰もが試練にさらされていますアギと候補生たる彼らはスザクのための戦いを厭わないでしょうそれでは議会での正式な採火をしましょう So leaks of a boss fight in Honkai? I haven't. No spoilers.
Is it true that Class Zero is able to extend the influence of the Crystal Jammer? My friend told me that Lucy from the invasion was a Secundus. Apparently she had the ability to enhance the power of any weapon, like those MAs. I didn't believe the rumors about crimson clad cadets thrashing the white tiger Lucy, but here you are, class zero, in the flesh. I'm Aki from class first. It's an honor. Why don't I show you around? This is Academ Academia, home to the Vermilion Peristilium. Your homeroom should just should be just through the entrance and down the hall to the left. You haven't met with your CEO yet, have you? You won't be officially registered as a cadet until you do, so I would head there first. Our privileges come with plenty of responsibilities too, but we cadets are all here to look out for each other, so don't be a stranger. If you get lost, you can always check your map for your next destination. Phoenix marks the spot, just follow the vermilion bird. Did you see that flying ship just passed by? Whoosh! Right across the sky! Gee, it would be so cool to ride in one of those! I hope I can learn how to use magic someday too, then I could take down all the bad guys. Why would anyone want to start a war in the first place? We were all completely content in leading peaceful lives until now. Mom, there's no telling where, when or where the Empire is going to strike next. You better be prepared to run at any time, okay? Only got one life to live, dear. Don't let it go to waste. Who's to say there aren't any Imperial troopers disguised and lurking in our midst? How do you know you aren't one of them? How do I know you are? There's no telling you might be a foe masquerading as a friend. If you notice any suspicious figures, do what you need to scare some information out of them. Ah, here he is! I don't believe we've met before. I'm the Mughal in charge of class first. My class is comprised of the finest cadets in all of Academia, Kupo. You'll need to work a little harder if you want to join them, Kupo. That has to be racist. Why? Why is the Moogle racist? So, you barge in here without taking any tests or interviews and all of a sudden you're cadets? Did the arch sorceress pull some strings for you or something? Seeing that Bahamut lying there helpless in Rubum Square left me speechless. I couldn't believe my eyes. Wow. I bet Malite is planning to take over all of Orients, I'm sure of it. Shouldn't you be receiving your mission briefing? Report to Classroom Zero immediately.
He likes to play their lessee during the invasion, but where were ours? Where were our lessee when we needed their protection? Sorry, Cadet, this area is still under repair. The Empire really did a number on this place. We've almost restored the arena, but it'll take time to heal the wounds to our collective psyche. We made it to Hogwarts. I'm not trying to start something, but my bros have been pumping some mad iron lately, Coco. They're totally determined to prove they're just as good as you dudes. Bro, nothing gets teen hearts beating faster than a little friendly rivalry, Coco. Team is too aggressive here. The music? Didn't Bahamut look so cool tearing it up during the liberation? Can't take any more tragedy. Please, no more! Not many people know this, but there are actually tens of thousands of Ifrit class Eidolons, all with their own unique abilities and personalities. It's interesting how all the countries of Orients have crystals, but each one utilizes the crystal's power in different ways. What ho! Oh, class Zero, good tidings await thee in thy classroom, Coco. Make haste down yonder hallway, tarry not, Coco. The Lassie inherit incredible strength from the crystals, but do you think that power is really worth sacrificing your humanity? You say people's magical powers start to wane once they become adults. If I'm gonna be a great mage, I'd better get started now. You see that? It just ran past here. So glad I was born in Rubrum. How can people even live in a barren wasteland like Millites? Man, I don't want to do my homework. Can you just do it for me? Oh, but I guess you could have some more important things to do. Where are they off limits? Everyone's been talking about Tempus Finis ever since the Empire dropped the Ultima Bomb. You don't think this means... But I'm not ready yet. Why do we need the Sagito to save Orius when we have Lassie? None of us could use weapons or magic during the liberation, right? Apparently the military emperor just up and vanished one day, but I suspect foul play. I thought all those times I went out hunting monsters would prepare me for combat, but I was wrong. Phoenix seems to be the new buzzword around the academia lately. Do you think this means Orient's? 
Mommy, there you are, Ace. We've been waiting for you, darling. Before you officially register as a cadet, there's something your mother would like you to know. <laughs> she is Mommy! I have to warn you that two new cadets will be joining your dears in Class Zero. They may done the same crimson capes, but don't be fooled, they are nothing like you. You've been doing an excellent job collecting Phantoma. Those two new kids will be assisting in the harvest, but they don't know what Phantoma is, and I would prefer it if they remained unaware. Other than you twelve, only a handful of elite researchers are privy to information about Phantoma. Your dears receive certain privileges. You dears receive certain privileges because you're special, but those two new ones are not. Our research is strictly confidential, and I would hate for any secrets to get out. So do your poor mother a favor and keep this information to yourself. You'll do that for me, won't you, darling? Of course, mommy. Yes, mommy. Thank you, mommy. All your two new classmates need to know about Phantoma is that it is the source of our magic, and I have no intention of letting them know anymore. So be sure to keep it our little secret, darling. Ah, there we go. Deuce! Trey. Cutter. Sinker. Sis. Seven. Eight. Nine. Jack. Queen. King. Zeus is wild. <laughs> Who was the one I liked? Seven? Oh yeah, whip blade. I wonder if we can use all of them. 
from the start. I'm assuming it's not uh, just um, learning new abilities that grants new abilities. Uh, let's take a quick break before I move on. I'll be right back.
All right. Uh, someone please ban Cyan. Thank you. <laughs> My first impression is you're getting banned for saying this is the Final Fantasy VII theme song. It's only been in Final Fantasy since Final Fantasy 1, but uh, yeah, you know, Final Fantasy 7 theme song. Why not? It's called Prelude. And it's associated with the crystals. My first impression, so far so good. It's, uh, it's limited in, in, in some ways, but uh, I'm liking it a lot. Also, it's really, really awesome to see a mature Final Fantasy. Not something with mature themes that cuts away, or when you're stabbed, it's actually fog coming out. Like, come on, man. You're just sitting around here for I'm ready for some action, yo. <laughs> Never went into a classroom when I came here with mother, so this is what they look like. Treasures is also mature right on. Unfortunately, no main line. I guess sixteen is. はじめてとなるな。私が諸君の指揮隊長となる。クラサメだ。指揮隊長。そうだ。諸君は私の指揮下に入ってもらう。すでに魔法局局長アレシア・ルラシアより許可が降りている。まさか。おかえれ、こら
<laughs> did we did we just not care what she had to say? Deuce is an unfortunate name, isn't it? Ordinarily, conjurers have to give their lives in order to summon analogs, but special analogs don't require any sacrifice of the sort on our relief. Six hours to mission? You do know that you can direct your queries to the Mughal assigned to help us instead of always coming to me for assistance all the time, don't you? Well, fuck you too. Who's the little kid? Complicated Mughal name of all time! To get to the cemetery, hand out that door over there and through the rear garden. But why would I want to go to the cemetery? Many brave men and women gave their lives for us in liberation. You should offer them a prayer of thanks, Kupo. After all, you can't start thinking about the future until you pay homage to the past, Kupo. Okay. See that door next to the podium? It leads to the back garden, to which you can access the cemetery. Well, the cemetery is a place where every quote in the academy goes to break. Well, Need supplies, or I could buy stuff from you if you're done with it. Commissary? We're good for now. So what the hell is up with that feather crate we ran into during the liberation? Oh? We're in Orient to seed all steam thinking. I thought this crystal jammer was heinous enough, but the Ultima Bomb is simply inexcusable. って
ノーイングタグを出撃前に残す引き取り手のいないタグは死んだものの証しになるからねそうして残ったタグの名をここに刻むのスザクのために死んでいった人だって私は出会った人や一緒の作戦に出る人の名前を必ず書き留めておくのそして作戦が終わった時に知らない名前がないか確認するそこに覚えていない名前があった時はここに来て知り合いだったはずのその人を探す思い出すことはできないけどね That's not dystopic at all. Raymond Machina? Yeah, they just passed through here. Probably visiting someone's grave at the cemetery. I wonder whose. The events at Academia can only be triggered by using certain characters. Change active members at relic terminals. Huh? You finished offering your prayers, Po. Then let's learn how things work here at Academia Kubo. On the mission day, Central Command will issue sortie orders and you'll be on your way, Kubo. Until then, though, you can use your free time to talk to whomever and go wherever you please, Kubo. Have 12 hours of free time in one day. Pay attention to characters with the following icons. Huh. When the mission day arrives, your CEO will call you in, Kupo. Then he'll explain your orders and you'll march off to battle, Kupo. When you're just itching to start your mission, go find Tachinami in Central Command, Kupo. I'm sure he'll be more than happy to help, so talk to him and he'll get you ready to march right away, Kupo. You can also just confirm your next sortie orders, Kupo. That way you'll know the difficulty level of your next mission, Kupo. If you don't think you're strong enough yet, then keep training hard until mission day, Kupo. You won't learn anything in Academia if you don't know your way around, Kupo. Now that you're officially registered as a cadet, you're free to use the great portal in the entrance, Kupo. So go on and have a look around, Kupo. I have a special present for you once you've explored all of Academia, Kupo. And don't be shy about chatting off. Chatting with the other cadets, Kupo. I've got another gift for you once you see lots of exclamation mark events, Kupo. I just know you'll love it here at the Academia, Kupo. Hmm. Don't you recognize my voice, Kupo? It's me, the Mughal who was giving you directions during the liberation, Kupo. So is, is this time limited? Her instead. Can I enter the graveyard then? Nisa, Ore, Crass Zero, Nihaitanda. Ano Maboroshi no Crass Zero, Dio. 
マキナ兄さんに報告してたんだとは言っても兄さんがどんな人だったのかさえ思い出せないけどお兄さんはスザクを守って任務を成し遂げて亡くなったんだねでも変なんだ変あの首都解放作戦で兄さんは出撃したことになってないんだえどういうこと軍部に問い合わせても教えてもらえなかった出撃命令がないのにお兄さんは戦場にいたそれか記録には残せない極秘の任務に当たっていたかマキナのお兄さんだものきっと精一杯できることをしてたんだよそうだと思いたいなでもなんであんな最前線にいたんだなんで死んだんだよ兄さんTo fit right in here, and I can take it or take this little gift. Huh? Why do you say that? How come we have to turn in our knowing text to the administration before we march when everyone else in the meeting keeps it on their person at all times? <clears throat> hmm. Is Sid working for the Lassie or are they the ones doing his bidding? I'm so confused. Nomad can get pretty headache, so each class wears a certain color in order to prevent confusion in the field. You already met with your CEO. I guess that means you're officially one of those now. In that case, why don't I show you around a little? The great portal in the center connects to all sorts of places. The lounge, the ready room, the terrace, the chocobo ranch, the armory, sorcery. Oh, that reminds me. The doctor told me to let you know she's waiting for you in her office. Be sure to warp over there later, okay? That door leads through to the Minion Central Command. The officers will provide you with all you need to know about your upcoming operations. Over here we have the Crystarium. Its walls are practically bursting with information. The jewel in the Crystarium's crown is the Rubicus, located right near the entrance. 
It's an incredible anthology of records, dossiers, and all sorts of advice. If you ever find yourself at a loss, I'd first try consulting Neurobicus. <laughs> this concludes our little tour. I'm sure you'll get used to this place in no time. Good luck and don't keep Dr. al Rashio waiting too long. I wish I were skilled enough to summon an Eidolon, but then I'd have to make the ultimate sacrifice. Didn't your CO used to be one of the four champions of Rubrum? I'm so jealous. Although the common folk of Rubrum maintain possession of their own knowing tanks, a special council is charged with keeping track of the cadets' tanks, Pupo. If I end up dying out there, you better not visit my grave or something stupid like that. I'm not worried about McBeag. Class Zero will kick the Empire out of there. That's what heroes do. I'm not trying to start something, but my bros. Are... Yeah, sure, sure, sure. You said it. The Empire has taken so much of our land from us. I guess our only choice is to start with the closest areas and move outward. May still be a trainee, but I'm just as devoted to defending our homeland as any cadet. We cadets have become the primary force of this war, but the trainees still provide valuable support in their own way. They say many of our comrades gave their lives to liberate the capital, but I didn't I don't feel a thing. It is our duty as cadets to do everything in our power to reclaim the occupied villages. I know you class zero kids are cadets too, but there's something different about you guys. The Empire criticizes us for relying on the Crystal's power, but where do you think their technology comes from? They're nothing but a bunch of filthy hypocrites. Good day, cadets, and allow me to welcome you to the Crystarium. Rubrum's treasure trove of knowledge. Feel free to use this facility when studying for exams or when something simply piques your curiosity. <laughs> Why not? Fulfill certain conditions to unlock various interests in the Rubicus. Can you unearth all of Orient's secrets? Man, we know nothing about anals. Shows you never to tune out. I've been owning my psychic powers lately. Wanna see? I'll tell you all about your next test for 1000 gil. Scam. I'm class 9 Smoogle Kupo. I'm not pretty hopeless, but that's okay. All that matters is that they're happy and healthy Kupo. I was supposed to be doing research for my next big report, but I keep getting sucked into these novels instead. I just got to a really good part. I'm collecting.
reading books on various remedies for my research, but I have so many now that I can barely keep track of which one I'm reading. I tried reading that Life of a Sea biography everyone's been talking about, but it wasn't my thing. I felt like the author could have stood to be a little more objective. Some people call class 9th the lucky class, but I don't believe it. I mean, if we're so lucky, then how come my grades are still so terrible? Welcome to the stream, Cyan. How are you? Thank you for tuning in today. I think I've read the same page a hundred times, but it's not sticking. It's not that I can't concentrate, it's just that the source material is so poorly written. This is part of the Fabula Nuova Crystallis. The Final Fantasy XIII uh, universe thing. We're in the middle of a national crisis and they're still giving tests? As if we aren't already suffering enough? That's just cruel. Remember this before Type 0? This was called Final Fantasy Agito 13. There's Final Fantasy 13, Final Fantasy Agito 13, and Final Fantasy Versus 13. Thank goodness the Empire spared the Crystarium. Melites may be ruthless, but not even they are barbaric enough to burn books. So, there's an event here, but I have to guess what character to get it with? No. Is, the, is it over? Who's this cutie pie? Can I not do anything? Why is it targeting them? Howdy! I don't reckon I've seen you around these parts before. Welcome to Rubrum's one and only Chocobo Ranch, where Chocobos rule the roost. They transport soldiers, sprint across the battlefield, and even provide vittles in a pinch. I don't know what that means. Why, I'd say they are heaps more helpful than some of those clumsy cadets. What's a vittle? Well, since you done come all the way out here, I might as well give you this. I reckon it will serve you plenty well out there in the field. Ten male chocobos, ten female chocobos? What does that even mean? It's an alt word for food. What? You eat the chocobos? What's a chocobo? Are you out of your mind? I done heard some downright silly questions in my time, but I ain't never heard nobody ask me what a chocobo is. Chocobos are wonderful little critters that can do just about anything. Some folk raise them for farming, some raise them for battle, and others raise them for dinner. Sickening. I reckon your average bird can't do all that. Chocobos are special and don't you go forgetting it, you hear? Well, can't you can find chocobos just about anywhere you go in Orient. Um, I reckon the closest flock might be pecking at the grasses around Dogoreth. Beat them up for that. Yep. Better warn you though, the wild ones tend to be shy little fellas, so if you plan on wrangling one for your own, I suggest you keep out of its line of sight. There used to be all different breeds of chocobos, but a good number of them died in the invasion. If you don't happen to find any unusual ones out there, I'd rather appreciate it if you brought them back here. 
I'll tell you one thing, chocobos sure love them some gizzle greens, that's for sure, but that ain't really my area of expertise. I'd ask the head breeder if you're looking to learn more. Well, chocobos get tired just like you and me, and they don't like hauling folks around all day. When they get tuckered out, they drop you faster than a hot griddle in the middle of a summer. Yes, once they fly off, they ain't coming back. There ain't no reason to mistreat them, though. If you're just looking for practice, you're welcome to circle around the range as much as you'd like. After all, partner, ain't no better way to improve than to practice. This is where we breed chocobos, where I reckon you aren't quite ready yet. How about you come back in a little while? Nanda. Yeah, I like chocobos. There's something wrong with that? Hmm, that's odd. I feel like I've had this exact conversation with someone before. You haven't, Ace. I just started the game. You can only test ride your chocobos around the corral. Let me know when you're ready to dismount. Mm, that's some pixelated ass. It is what it is, Sayam. <laughs> I don't know either. But, uh, as long as you're happy. We ordinary citizens are powerless against the Empire, and all we can do is pray. So the cadets are getting ready to march once more. I just hope everyone makes it back safely. If I'm ever forced to rely on you for backup, just leave me to die. Yeah. I've seen a lot of legionnaires around lately. You're winning something, aren't you? I mean, we're, there's smoke, there's fire, right? Dr. al Rashia is really something else. I mean, you heard about the commandant, right? He never loses an argument, but he sh she had him practically pulling out what little hair he has left. One of the Imperial POWs was blabbing about that wing Pumi chick being in love with Seed Austin. Aren't Lassie supposed to lose their human consciousness or something? The Empire weaseled its way into every corner of Ruru. If Academia, Academia isn't even safe at this point, then I don't know where, where it is. You cadets are so strong though, at least you can hold your own in combat. We ordinary folks don't even have weapons to defend ourselves with. That's what we're here for, to defend the citizens of Ruru. Our training has prepared us for anything, so put your mind at ease. The crimson cape of yours tells me you must be from class zero, Popo. I'm the Mughal in charge of class six, Popo. My cadets are the best when it comes to magic, Popo. What about class third? What about those half wits? They're not so special, Popo. Did you hear that sound the other day? Boom! And they, aren't they gonna show us fireworks? I wanna see fireworks. Don't underestimate me just a, because I'm a mom. I won't let anyone lay a finger on my children. 
Those weren't fireworks, you dummy. That was cannon fight. I mean, yeah, maybe someday we'll see fireworks. What? Do you think you're some kind of world traveler now, just because you've stepped outside the academia's walls? Huh, nice try, newbie. But you've got a long way to go if you want to become a master explorer like me. Orleans is full of untouched caverns and calderas, but you've ever... You'll never get your hands on them with millites in the way. The first order of business is to get those Imperial invaders off our land. Make me proud, newbie. Halt! The area surrounding Academia is still under Imperial occupation. All unauthorized personnel are strictly prohibited from venturing outside of this facility. I guess if it doesn't matter, I can walk around with, uh, with the girl instead. Not a female main character? Doesn't matter. Just learned how to do this really cool technique, but I can't seem to get it right. I love chocobos so much, if I could I would live surrounded by chocobos. We're gonna ace our test next period. How about this one? What is the best way to engage enemies while maintaining a safe distance? Guns. You already have a hair ship? Hello there, Kupo. I'm the Mughal in charge of Class 4th. My cadets are healing experts, Kupo. Yeah, we have a lot of girls in our class, so what? That doesn't mean anything, Kupo. Healing is hard work, and my girls put forth twice as much, twice as much effort as any man in academia, Kupo. They said the airships are still undergoing maintenance. If, if it took them this long just to restore the outer hull, it'll take ages to get the fleet up and running again. The damage was so severe that they had to contract a private company to help with the repairs. We lost a bunch of soldiers in that last battle, but almost all cadets came back alive. No wonder they call you Agito Cadets. You really must have some kind of divine protection. Eliminate the Empire! I'm the Mughal in charge of class stand, Kupo. You seem much more calm and collected than most other cadets. How refreshing, Kupo. The Empire practically destroyed our entire fleet in the invasion, so all of our commuter flights are currently out of service. She no longer has a thing. Everyone has really high shoulders, don't they? Mm. 
das Leine. You want to get a cadet, sir? I'm so mature for your age. Oh, I would be so proud if my daughter were to grow up to be a cadet like you. You say there are no. Station. I cannot hear this music, I think, oh, the stream is starting. <laughs> Makes sense, I guess. Greetings, you are from class Zilch, was it? Kupo? I'm the class second Moogle, but I'm sure some Kupo of my stature needs no introduction. Oh. You see, I'm different from other Moogles whose pom poms are full of hot hair. Oh. Why, I'm certain I could even outperform my fair share of cadets. Oh. You expect me to believe that you've actually seen the fabled Nox Suzaku? We received plenty of reports about unidentified crafts, but this seems too far-fetched. Is that a bear? Thanks, Cadet. This is Central Command, 2nd Tactical Division. Feel free to consult any of us for information regarding your mission orders. As it were, I am the Tribune charged with overseeing the support personnel at the Mayan Rescue Squad. I have taken the liberty of officially registering you all as members of the SP. Do not hesitate to enlist your comrades as help. Support personnel consists of cadets who provide backup for their comrades on missions. Requesting backup from the SP earns support personnel points, SPP, and boosts your SP rank. Earn a higher SP rank to access exclusive spells and equipment. If you earn enough SPP, you can exchange them here for items. 
Nothing to say but cheers? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Thank you for the bits, throw. I have nothing to say. Oh, okay, okay. How about how about hi? <laughs> Thank you very much. How are you? Uh, you can exchange them here for items. We have quite an enticing selection, so I suggest you work hard and cooperate with your fellow cadets in the field. Earn support personnel points by requesting backup from other cadets. Exchange SPP for items at the SPP post in Central Command. At least, cadet, have you been earning SPP? Hmm? Bye. It goes well! Just getting to know this game. Should a mission ever prove insurmountable, you would do well to consider re-evaluating your approach. Sometimes the smallest adjustment can produce the greatest effect on the outcome of an operation. That's just a difficulty from the relic terminals around the Orients. Cadet reduces damage received and lowers enemy HP. Officer is standard difficulty level. Agito increases all mission levels by 30. Fulfill certain conditions to unlock an even greater challenge. If you ever feel overwhelmed by a formidable foe, do not hesitate to call Academia for backup. Why, you may even see your very own CEO run to your aid, aid once in a while. Activate backup settings to receive support from Academia and earn SPP. Hmm. It, it, I think it's a game. Wow, you guys really came to save us. You're really here, in the flesh, with Class Zero here. There's nothing we can do. Let's be from Class Zero. My name's Tatsunami. I'll be providing you with remote assistance, assistance on large-scale operations. If you're already itching to get out there on the front lines, I can arrange to have you deployed as soon as possible. Speak with Tatsunami to skip ahead to Mission Day. Advancing time will cancel all incomplete events and requests. Uh, after the virtual annihilation of its forces and the Imperial invasion, Rubrum decides to conscript cadets into the military and send them to battle. The Dominion forms an elite unit of cadets who will recapture McTig, located on the outskirts of Academia. Central Command selects Class Zero to be a part of this operation, mar marking first time experiencing real combat. No, no, no. Bokuro. Should the tide of battle turn against you, call for backup immediately. I'll provide assistance if no other units are available. A good soldier always reflects on his performance on any operation. Even if you succeed, there is always room for improvement. Completed missions can be replayed at any time. Any character may participate in these replays regardless of the data loaded. Items and XP earned during replay missions are saved and applied to your current file. Missions cannot be replayed from a mid-mission save file. Okay. Yes, I'm the model in charge of class third. Kupo. Any more brilliant questions, Kupo? Here's a question for you. What is class zero going to contribute to the upcoming operation, Kupo? Are you going to help us suffer a less crushing defeat or something, Kupo? Class first used to run academy until those class zero kids showed up, you know. 
the Empire must have been preparing for quite some time to be able to raid so many of our key strongholds simultaneously. I've dug through nearly every spellbook in the entire Crystarium, but I haven't found a single incantation nearly as powerful as Ultima. I'll never forget the humiliation I felt during the liberation. So, Tro, have you seen the the whole shebang with uh, Star Wars Outlaws? Almost everyone in academia spends years owning their skills as a trainee before they can even think about becoming a Nagito cadet. Nanda. You, teams, you two seem so much closer than anyone else in Class Zero. Is that what it's like to be friends?君たちとはクラスの外でもよく会うね。ん同じ魔導院で同じクラスにいる。会うのも当然だろう。そうだけどさ、俺はレムが須崎に来ていたことも知らなかったからね。私だって牧永がいるって知ってたらちゃんと連
Just cause class zero is here doesn't mean that the rest of us can slack off now. Every one of us has gotta keep giving in our all. I actually haven't noticed this. Like what games? I guess uh, it's better that my portrait is on the other side, isn't it? Maybe it's because I stopped watching trailers at some point? My concentration is taking a nosedive ever since the liberation. I've been spacing out in class. I don't want to, but I can't stop remembering that I... Okay. Th they showed uh, DLC stuff before the game was out? I don't remember. I, I don't even know if I saw any... ...thing. <laughs> it seems like you're outraged about the outrage. Kurasami really gets on my nerves. I mean, come on, the Ice Reaper? As if I'm gonna listen to some big-headed jerk who gives himself stupid superhero nicknames. I, mean, I feel like there's more outrage about the outrage nowadays. I mean... <laughs> I, I am surprised this, this hit a nerve so much. Um, game looks great, so... Like, for example, I heard- I read this as news? Uh, so... I- I didn't describe it as an outrage? Watch it and uh, read it as news. As a piece of news. It wasn't on a outraged channel.
I mean, in informing people that uh, that Ubisoft is trailering that the st the thing in the trailer is not in the game but is DLC is news, right? Is providing information. What you do with that information... Oh no, that I completely disagree. If there is a trailer for something... Uh, in informing the consumer that what's in the trailer is not in the game if you don't buy the DLC is information, providing information, right? News is information. Um, obviously, they want DLC. Existing is not news. No, that is not news. Uh, I always knew Mother was the top of the sorcery division, but I guess I've never realized she was such a big wig around the academia. Now that class zero is here, we've got nothing to fear. Academia is in good hands as long as they're around. We had to take all these special tests in order to become cadets, but Class Zero just rode into Academia on the Arch Sorcerer's coattails. It's not fair. We were this close to losing Academia to the Empire back there. I don't ever want to go through that again. Uh, game Day 1 DLC that wouldn't, didn't put the DLC in the trailers? Usually there's a trailer for the DLC, right? No, like, yeah, a specific trailer for the DLC is what I mean. <laughs> Anyway, I was not outraged, or wasn't trying to rage bait you. Uh... Just, uh... Talking? What if... I mean, you can look at the outrage... Like... I mean... I didn't know people were that upset about it. But, uh... Does this mean you've seen more... More people... Like, people out there super upset about this? I don't get why everyone's all bent out of shape about that Ultima Bomb. We've got nothing to fear as long as the crystal's on our side. What's the deal with the Seed All Steam guy? How do you get to be the Imperial Marshal or whatever? <laughs> okay, sorry then. I'll never forgive the Empire's atrocities, no matter what. I talked about it because uh, we. I talked about it, uh... 
I don't know. I don't know why you're you're uh, saying that to me at least, but sure. Um I um I would I read it, I think it was on IGN. <sighs> was it on IGN? Oh my god, what is that? Was this to the area yesterday? Ah, yeah. Yeah, it was on IGN. Shh. Uh, <laughs> okay. I know. At the same time, um, I also don't want to ignore, like, I I ignore every new, like, okay, news, whatever, uh, website, except IGN these days, and I I would like to still read at least one. If you if you tell me, hey, you should change into this one instead. But not be aware of the of what's happening at all. I don't want to. Uh, anyway, I asked. I I talked about this because we because I sent you the other Prince of Persia and the, the Prince of Persia video which I wasn't aware of until that video uh, came out. And um, then like I shared your... I shared! I still think uh, Star Wars Outlaws looks great. That Ubisoft is doing some, some interesting things. That's why I mentioned it. Empire wants to full scale invasion of Room Room and erase Lorica from Orient. What could they possibly be planning to do next? Concordia is the country that controls dragons, right? Quantum Dream has always been A to me. You mean Quantic Dream? Where, the, where, where is this coming from, Cyan? So now central is is blink twice if you are Anna. Reminds me of this game called Jazz Rack Rabbit. Jazz Jack Rabbit. Yeah, that's a different Star Wars game. So now Central Command is sending cadets into battle. I don't know about you, but I came here to become Agito, not to be tossed around as one of their weapons of war. Alright, time to chow down. They say an army marches on its stomach, after all. 
How goes it, Arrow? Gekikara series has me mustaka. So you bought Makina te Karaimana Taberina in the name. Is there music from this game in, in Theatre Rhythm? Go on off, kid. You cadets do more than enough during a little R&R. &R. Well, there. Well, I'm the Mughal in charge of Class 12. In a word, they're special. Well, I love my job, don't get me wrong, but my kids are so scattered. Well, by the time I can relay mission orders to them all, the cadets from the other classes are already out in the field. Once I can't remember if you could check on your PS5. <laughs> I have to remove this disc and put in another one. But who decided on these class colors anyway? How did they figure hot pink was a good choice for class 7? You heard about the four champions of Urban, right? Rumor has it that Kurasame is leading class 0 now. Of course. Been in training forever. When is my turn to be a cadet? Oh man, I totally forgot about that report from last week. I gotta finish it before my CEO comes to wring my neck. What do I want to eat today? I can't make up my mind. Have you played this game? The actual game on it? What? Why wouldn't it? No wonder the Empire's artillery is so devastating. Everything they use is powered by their crystal. Class Zero, I presume, as I suspected. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the Mughal charged with monitoring Class 11. Oh. Oh? Might I inquire as to your thoughts regarding the recent decision to deploy the cadets? Interesting, Kupo. Oh. My opinion is that perhaps that is a conversation best safe for another day. Oh. Messed around with it a little too PSP for me. Yeah, I get it. Camera is, uh, is uh, troubling, I think. At ease, cadets. This is the sixth arms lab, otherwise known as the Armory. We pride ourselves in being the exclusive developer and distributor of arms in the Dominion. If you ever find yourself in need of equipment, don't hesitate to ask. Why can't I seem to get good results I'm looking for? I couldn't have made a mistake in the formula, could I? Let's see, the crystal jammer blocks the people's power from getting into the crystal slots? No, no, that can't be right. This is the eight where the Dominion carries out its research and development. No wonder this place is so quiet. So you're one of the two newbies. Great. I was really hoping for more dead weight to slow me down on missions. Shh, can't you see I'm on the verge of an epiphany here? Great, I almost had it, and now it's gone forever. Thanks a bunch. David sings anime opening songs in the shower? It wouldn't be the first time, no. Gameplay is actually pretty fun, the story isn't quite integrated into the mission, so you always have Kojima time before more gameplay. Kojima time? Welcome, cadet. I'm here to offer you only the finest weapons and accessories around. I'm telling you, you won't believe some of these deals. Seriously, they're unbelievable. Ah, uh, yeah, get it. Argentic deck. Uh, th it's for this person, but is it good? Is it better than what I have? Can I not know? Hmm. 
I'm crunch the numbers for you, looks for the numbers. No part no numbers, I think. Sorcery. Is mommy here? She is. Glory, explore the whole of academia, Kupo. Wow, you must be full of something. Welcome to Sorcery, where we conduct research and development of all kinds of spells. Technically, this place is off-limits to all unauthorized personnel, but the doctor has given you kids special permission. Well, I guess she's not my mom. She's the other people's mom. <coughs> Truly, you've already been briefed on participating in the SO system, haven't you? I trust that you'll make the right decision in the matter. I've been charged with overseeing the top secret special orders, SO for short. The doctor designed this program with you kids in mind, but I need your consent before you can participate. The price of failure on these confidential orders is death, so bear that in mind. That said, the doctor feels this sort of challenge will contribute to your growth as cadets. Accepting these secret missions is a risky undertaking, so the choice is yours. Review incoming special order transmissions with touchpad after confirming their contents, you may choose to decline them with no penalty. However, if an SO is accepted, the penalty for failure is death. Avoid death by dodging three of the portals that appear. Earn rewards by completing these special tests, as those with red icons provide exceptional rewards. Receive beneficial status. Effects by accepting SOs. Completish completion re earns rewards, but the price of failure is death. Uh, allow? That's the spirits. Are you liking the game so far? I haven't played enough, but I am in, I am enjoying it. Uh, feels I like the that it feels mature. It was very gritty, and uh, I just haven't played enough. The world is interesting, and the the matureness is interesting too. It's a spirit. I knew Class Zero would be up for the challenge. The Doctor and I expect great progress from you. Good luck. Oh my, if it isn't my precious children's new classmate. Keep talking, sure. My darlings didn't make fools of themselves in the face of the Crystal Jammer like you two did. Why were they unaffected? Well, that's absolutely none of your business. All you need to worry about is making sure you don't hold them back with your mediocrity. In other words, they're special and you aren't. Get the picture, darling? Good, that's all. Damn. Uh, I'm... I'm... I am... I'm exploring this area for the first time, so... I'm wandering around. Yes. I mean, ah, I skipped that? I thought I thought I was pausing the cutscene. It's not taking a long time. You are set free for the first time. We go around looking at all the rooms. If the school is big, it takes a while to look. I hope we, we already are in class zero, sorry. No Gryffindor. So, she... Mommy doesn't like me. Let's see if I like this character. Oh, 
だ。私と気が合うかもね。Oh, everyone is here now. Nandai? Junchoka? Looks like the new kids will be teaming up with us on our first mission as official cadets. <coughs> We were already going on our first assignment together. I suppose now is the time to put everything I've learned in academia to good use. I'm just saying yesterday I never want to see another Thunberry. No, no, no. I said I'm scared because science said, Oh my god, a Thunberry. Ah, Stranger of Paradise, a Thunberry. No PTSD. Oh my god. Ah. That's basically what science was saying. So I thought, oh, well, then this scares me about Stranger of Paradise. Let's play Type Zero. This bodes well because he's a uh, th this this Thunberry's a friend. Bokuro. You've received your first marching orders from Central Command. Don't make that face. Your fellow cadets will be there to provide backup if you need it. Activate backup settings to receive support from Academia and reduce the damage the allies take. However, support personnel casualties will be tallied as part of your mission grade. There's no shame in calling for backup if it helps you complete your objective. Your mission is as follows. Trying to hunt Void Knight? Huh? Proceed through the main gate and towards your destination. Once you've completed your objective, return directly to Academia. I expect great things of you. Don't disappoint me. May the crystal guide you. Dismissed. Okay. Everyone has really high shoulders in this game, don't they? What do you mean? Arrogance plays all the games, he just doesn't finish them. This is your first sortie as class zero. Good luck, Kupo. You'll gain lots of experience in the field, but only if you participate in combat, Kupo. Oh, and remember, if things turn grim, don't be afraid to abort the mission, Kupo. Even if the operation ends in failure, the experience will stay with you, Kupo. But that's who participate in combat will receive experience points and level up. Those who remain in the reserves throughout a mission will not earn XP. However, some cadets perform better than others, depending on the circumstances. Prepare for anything by training all of your cadets evenly, then utilize their unique strengths to gain the upper hand in battle. Adjust your squad formation at Relic Terminals mid-mission and deploy your reserves, or replay completed missions from missions on the title screen to train other cadets. Cadets not currently participating in combat remain on standby in the reserves. Those who stay in the reserve squad throughout a mission will not earn XP or level up, can adjust your active squad formation at Relic Terminals. However, when one of your active members falls in battle, press up to replace him or her with a cadet from the reserves. Losing all cadets will result in game over. Certain squad formations grant active members primed status at the start of missions. These cadets receive aura and trance status and take less damage. Aborting the mission will send the squad back to Academia and allow them to keep all XP earned. If all members die in battle, they will lose all XP and restart from the last save point. All XP and MP will be restored after each battle in the world of Orients. Immediately return it to Rekidame at any time by accessing the field menu.
<laughs> it's a PSP game, man. I'm surprised there's a world map! That spins the chocobos? After you win an encounter, more enemies might attack your squad. Select fight to engage or retreat to run away. Enemies will grow stronger with each successive battle. Uh, sure? It's definitely easier to to pull off the kill move with the sword girl. So it just goes on endlessly? Excuse me, sir. I have no idea how to fight this her. Loot? Endlessly, huh? The fighting. It's kind of weird. Pause. I need to. I need to open the menu to pause. Oh, I put the roster into the reserves and now I bring them into the active? Why isn't the entire roster the reserve? <laughs> okay, okay game. Um... So she's the healer, right?
Some mace. Damn. It's kind of weird that we start with so many party members. Like, I, I get having these many, but you start with so many, it's hard to like, pick your favorite. What? What is this? Wait, what happened to... What happened to Scythe Girl? I think I'm misunderstanding things. If the reserves are characters I can't control, then I don't want them. Do I? Survive for three minutes. Can I just stay here? mechanic the hey you defeated the commander the the other guys you defeat the leader the mobs give up and the uh, surrender I don't think I've seen that uh, in other games There, there is, there are mechanics like that, but it's like the leader powers up the mobs, or the like. If you kill the leader first, the the mobs uh, are debuffed or are no longer buffed, or something like that.
Oh, okay. I like it though. Just like that? I pick my party, I wanna I want that party. So do, do I have to wait around for the timer to get go down? I don't really understand this. I like this character though. I haven't tried them all, but I like this character. Oh shit. Oh. 
Invisible. What? I can't climb that? I miss what the mission is.
完了。This has many things going on that I don't understand. It is what it is. Absolutely sure some retail therapy would relieve all of my stress, but there's just one enormous problem. We have practically nothing to buy in this town, and that's stressing me out even more. Hello there. I don't suppose you're here to celebrate the reconstruction of Matig, are you? Oh, who am I kidding? Of course you're not. I told everyone at least a thousand times I'd be giving my first speech today as mayor to honor the city's recovery effort, but they forgot all about it. Probably weren't even listening in the first place. Sure, gather the town's speech. Really, you'd call everyone over here just to hear my speech? Gee, that's awful nice of you. Don't have to go knocking on doors for me, though. It's not like anyone's gonna show up anyway. That speech was today? Man, I only forgot, thanks for reminding me. This war has taken so much from us and knocked us to the ground, but the populace's ability to pull themselves right back up offers hope. We can indeed regain that which we have lost. It will take an extraordinary amount of effort to regrow anything out of this charred wasteland, but I have faith that... So long as the citizens lend him their support, that young man will help the town of Mechtig blossom once more. Here's gonna give a speak to everybody. Can I still play outside? Okay then. Good luck, Mr. Mayor, I believe in you. Mir's giving a reconstruction address? No, I don't remember hearing about it. Actually, now that you mention it, I have a vague recollection. So that's today. Great, I'll be there. Oh, was the mayor giving his speech today? Silly me, it completely slipped my mind. <clears throat> the mayor's gonna talk to everyone in town. <laughs> I gotta go see him, he's even cooler. Oh, she's uh, back to alive. Really rooting for this new mayor, and I'd like to help him out in any way I can. For the time being, I guess that means providing supplies. Do you need any, by the way? I can't believe some people actually showed up to hear me. Still, there's no point in giving a speech about the entire town when half the citizens aren't here, even here to listen. I'm such a failure. Who, who else would do you want?
Are there more people? The last time I'm not interested in- Oh, what's that? The mayor's giving a speech? Well, why didn't you say so? Here I was about to spend the entire day cooped up inside. Oh. He does want me to knock on doors. Who is it? Oh dear, the mayor was delivering his address today. Why, well, I got so swept up in my cleaning that I forgot all about it. Let me just get my loafers on. What do you want? Mommy told me not to talk to strangers while she's gone. Everyone's outside. I want to go too. I'm sure mommy won't mind. Does this everyone? Did you really get everyone in town to come hear my speech? That's incredible. I don't even know how to repay you. Here. It's not much, but it's one of the few things I managed to hang on to during the war. I know it, I'm still a greenhorn, but I'm going to keep working hard for the people of McTee. Will I, I got a little sea crystal? What do I do with that? You heard of the cave northeast of Academia? Of course you have, Aknubi. The place is calling with corals, though, so take some catnip along with you. Hmm. Now that. I'm Inra from Class First. Yeah, that's right, THE Class First. Jealous? I don't know if this is one of the games Pokemon Scarlet and Violet took inspiration from. In what way? This, isn't it funny how love just kind of smacks you right between the eyes? I mean, think about it. Could there be a worse time to get caught up in all that roses are red garbage than right in the middle of war? And again, maybe a little romance is exactly what we all need in a time like this. When you're in love, you've got someone to fight for. Make sure you make it out alive. Here I am in love with the girl of my dreams and that jerk's always blocking me out. They're not even dating or anything. Ah! 
Having to go to classes and attend school? Well, that was already happening before this in other games, no? Like Harry Potter games? Anyway, thanks for letting me get that off my chest. Persona games? なければ伺いたいのだが。あ、はい。我らは総流府の使者だ。急ぎ院長様に会わねばならん。それで院長室の場所を知りたい。着いた時にお聞きしたのだが、景色を見ていたらすっかり迷ってしまった。院長室でし
ット解放作戦報告書何が知りたいんだああいやちょっとなそうかなあ極秘任務記録ってやっぱりクラスゼロでも見せてもらえないんだよな極秘任務の閲覧権限があるのは局長クラスくらいだろうどうしてそんなことを聞くんだいやただの興味本位だよあらお二人で何を話しているんですかいや大したことじゃないよじゃあな Someone snooping. I think I'm going to get a little bit of 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 a Well met, Class Zero. It is I, the Mughal of Class Eight. Kubo, might I steal a moment of your time? Though I don the garb of a common thief, the price I seek is one far nobler. Knowing thanks, Kubo. You see, although your cadets and trust to provide thanks to Akizame before embarking on a new quest, our fair countrymen hold on to their thanks until their dying breaths, Kubo. And unless some kind soul takes it upon him or herself to retrieve these bags, what proof have we that those who died ever lived once their memories vanished from our minds? Well, imagine the agony felt by families uncertain of their loved ones' whereabouts. Canst thou in good conscience allow our fallen citizens to simply be forgotten? Well, nay, well, I say it is our noble duty to retrieve these knowing bags and provide closure for the families of those who have fallen in the field. I mean, if they die in the field, you wouldn't be worried about them, right? Because you don't never you don't know they exist. So pretty in your travels, should you happen upon a knowing tag, I ask you, to do the noble thing and retrieve it for me. Well, So, when the time report to classroom zero, is that not what I'm trying to do? Oh no, I got turned around. Sira, you've received marching orders. Imperial vermin have infested the area surrounding Academia. Exterminate them. Whether you accept these orders is up to you. Just bear in mind that laziness will go unrewarded. The choice is yours, cadets. Participation in the following regional occupation campaign is optional. You cannot earn rewards if you do not participate in these operations. However, all occupation campaigns can be replayed from the missions menu. Let's go. Through the conscription and deployment of the Agito Cadets, the Dominion successfully liberates McTig. Using the newly retaken city as a base of operations, the Dominion launches a large-scale campaign to reclaim the Rubru region. Under the command of their CEO, Kurasame, Class Zero joins the campaign to execute special missions as an autonomous unit. You see through the main gate and on to your destination. You won't be far from Academia, but that doesn't mean you can come home crying mid-mission. Big Big was rightfully ours. Dismissed. I always have to walk to the entrance?
I'm not a fan of that. Use level nine people, I guess. Ah. I don't like the the first selection. Ah, I'm only taking one. What if I don't like the character? Let me explain the situation on the ground, Kupo. The forces have launched a campaign to reclaim the Rubrum region, Kupo. Your objective is to help them seize the enemy HQ at Corsi and reclaim the city. First, assist our troops in taking over the main one. Next, direct our forces towards Akvi and occupy the town. Once you've captured Akvi and fortified, let's take back our land go for the Dominion. Dominion will launch an occupation campaign against the Empire, fulfilling the victory condition on the mission, but triggering the losing condition will result in game over. What a nice tutorial. The yellow arrow on the radar in the upper right indicates your destination. will attack when nearby and when under fire, help damage from enemy counterattacks by striking from the rear. Attack enemy units to disrupt their deployment rate and create an opening for the minion troops to invade enemy domains. When enemies approach domains and strongholds, stop dispatching units and begin fortification. A shield icon indicates a base is strengthening its defenses and rallying its troops. Direct allied troops to attack enemy bases on the defensive to prevent them from regrouping. <laughs> Only the minion units can deal damage to enemy domains and strongholds. Direct the minion troops toward enemy camps in order to achieve victory. How do I direct them? Okay. 
mich dann This occupied enemy remains in stronghold will become dominion footholds from which you can dispatch troops. Touch dominion domain or stronghold to recover MP. Mog occasionally offers special assignments that provide exceptional rewards for completion. Complete special assignments to earn control over the bases and strongholds involved. Press X while near camps with the icon, sure. I don't get it. Issue orders. Ah. Yosh. Sugi. Yosh. Go to the gun zone. Is yuri da. So no mama shingun se yo. Energy walls re-fortify strongholds and protect against invasion. The heart icon indicates a stronghold is strengthening its defenses. Neutralize energy walls by dealing enough damage to their respective strongholds using our allied troops. It's ongoing, I think. Stronghold and press X to initiate an invasion. Complete special assignments during your operation during command of the stronghold. <clears throat> it's the Reds. Shit! <laughs> There's a time limit and I didn't notice.
ミリティス広告に栄光あれよし出撃 Isn't this the last city? Oh, they're uh, automatically attacking. There are no enemies.
Ah, nice. I don't understand. Why can't I have more than one actor? Why can't I pick the ones the, that go in after?歴史 第
貴様は気にかけることではない報告をしろあはい給付機関の稼働は順調です対象を発見さえできれば直接干渉域において制御下に置くことができると思われます捜索を急げそのための手段は問わんはっ歯車の周り想像以上に速いイカづちが鳴る前にことを済まさねばな宗教がそれは我らを守ることいえスザクを守ることにつながると我は武士だそれ以上でもそれ以下でもない愚問でした主義教は武士であられるご判断は正しいでしょうではスザク軍は作戦通りに動きますよろしいですね好きにしろ我は主らにいかなる保証もしないもしもの時は兵を撤退させることだなもしもの時クリスタルの加護を信じましょう<音声>どう責任を取るつもりだね責任私の許可なく兵を動かし死なせた責任だよこれは悠々しき事態だぞ何が問題なのかしら兵士が一人死んだそれだけよあの子たちは首都奪還作戦を見事に成功させたわ得たものと失ったものの引き算もできないのかしらだとしても軍部には石膏も密偵もあの任務に適した者はいくらでもいたというのになぜあの青年いざなくなぎりでなければならなかったのだそれはあの子が望んだからなんだとどこで出会ったかは知らないけどエースがあの子がいいって言うんだもんそれだけの理由で子供のわがままに付き合って我が軍から兵を動かし死なせたというのか十分すぎる理由じゃないそれにスザクの軍よ院長の許可があり動いているそれに問題があるのかしら、うん、僕が望んだ僕のせいで死んだいざなクナギリ S? 大丈夫かなんか顔色悪いぞ牧野牧野クナギなぎりんだよ改めて本当にどうしたすまないああ変なやつだな Well, that cadet, the administration was quite pleased with your performance out there the other day. I have no doubt that folks around the room will be asking for your help from now on, so do lend them a hand. We feel tasks for people around the audience to receive various rewards. Undertaking one of these tasks will not elapse time. Collect a reward by speaking to the client after completing the task. On mission day, collect your reward by reporting to a proxy at Academ Academia. If anyone can be of service to the people of Orient, it's class zero. Ah. 
はいもういいわ体の方は問題ないみたいね調子はどう悪くないペリシテリウムには慣れたかしらうまくやってるよそう思うマザーのところにも王国が言ってるだろそういうのは直接聞かないとわからないものよ僕たちを候補生に推薦した手前もあるしそこは何も心配してないわ母親が子供たちの心配をするのは普通のことなのよ自分で選んだ作戦に参加するのもいいけどもう少し顔を見せるようになさい<笑>よく言うよマザーこそ魔法局の仕事忙しいんだろ相変わらずってところねでもあなたたちに会う時間くらいはいくらでも作れるわよはいはい Hey, or I've been looking all over for you kids. You see, I have a favor to ask. One of a rather <coughs> confidential nature. You're the right phantom for my research, and you class zero cadets are the only ones I can ask for help. Well, according to plan, your cooperation in this matter is greatly appreciated. Excellent. I see why the doctor insisted I ask for your assistance in this matter. Provide me with this Now that we've kicked the Empire off,、uh, stepping into Arias causes six hours to elapse. You cannot leave Academia if less than six hours remain until your next mission. Try breeding chocobos? No. We breed our own chocobos over at the ranch. Why not try breeding some yourself? I speak from experience when I say that having a chocobo or two makes the travel a lot easier. It is I, the Class 8 Moogle. I have taken it upon myself to retrieve knowing things from the field. Turning them after getting the trophies for that. Here you are, darling. I was hoping to have a little chat with you. Surely you have a moment for your dear mother, don't you? This portal will take you to the Alto Cristarium, a secret spot where we develop all sorts of incantations for the Phantom and your dear s c o l l i n g for me. Don't worry your pretty little head about the details. Just remember that you children are doing a great service for the Dominion and your dear mother. Why don't you head over to the Alto Cristarium and have a look for yourself? I'm sure it'll be worth your while, darling. This is、uh, also another game I'm glad I'm watching but not playing. Why? I really spent too much time in the school part of the game. I mean, you can fast forward to the mission if you want. The type of phantom harvested changes depending on the type of magic used to subjugate the target. For example, fire spells will produce red phantom. And, well, I'm sure you understand, don't you? Well, I didn't know that. Can I ask spells at the Alto Cristarium and relic terminals around Orients? 
the magic can be unlocked by fulfilling certain conditions. I'm not aware of uh, the differences between these spells. I kind of wish there was a place where I could go uh, try out the characters. I would like to try the different decks that I'm unlocking before committing to using them in a real combat situation. Maybe that is a thing and I just haven't found it. Certainly possible. There's rumor going around that one of our LC will be joining the sortie. You don't think the crystal senses the Dominion is in danger, do you? You come for a lecture, Kupo. Picking a class will raise every Kupo's abilities. The more classes you take, the stronger every Kupo will become. Take lots of classes and you'll be ready for any battle, Kupo. Hmm. 
increase the power of all magic. This class is aimed at those completely unfamiliar with magic. Students will study the structure of spells, analyze the characteristics of various elemental incantations, memorize how to invoke all magic listed in Sorcery and Me, a learner's spell book. Yeah... That's how you learn the arts, right? Melty Cheese? The Melty Cheese Kingdom? Bug on the wall, no. There was a bug on my wall. <laughs> yeah, they are. They go by on their own. I can't read them in time. Ah, uh, these repeat actually. I guess they're just uh... Play solar or whatever, maybe. Yeah. I can skip it. レム、どうかしたうん。あのね、さっき噂で聞いたんだけど、北部戦線に修行教がいたらしいの。修行教スザクのルシが。ルシが理由もなく動くことなんかないでしょ。だから、一体何が起こってるんだろうって。確かに、
situation has arisen and I need quest zero's assistance. Receive the word that monster is wreaking havoc in the forests of Rubrum. Take care of the mid cadet. Much obliged. I can rest easy knowing that the minion is in good hands. No, go right ahead and strike up a conversation with me. I wasn't trying to enjoy the peace and the quiet or solitude or anything. I mean, yes, you came over to chat with me because we're friends, right? I forgot that being randomly assigned to the same class automatically makes us best buddies. I have to say that unfailing naivete of yours is really adorable. Look, we're classmates and nothing more, so you can cut the buddy-buddy act. To be fair, I've never really been big on group activities. Hard to believe, I'm sure. The truth is, I'm only going along with this whole class thing because it's what Mother wants. Honestly, if I had to guess, I'd say that everyone else in the class feels the same way. Whether they admit it or not is a different story, though. Bit rude. Hey, Class Zero, you got impeccable timing. I've got a little favor to ask of you, but don't tell anyone about it, okay? Help our investigation into the Empire's Magitech armor by taking down one of the strikers in the Rubrum region. We only want to investigate its parts, so don't worry about keeping it intact. <coughs> Cancel current requests? No! Why can't I do both? Training facilities at the arena are once again in operation. The restoration process went much faster than expected thanks to your hard work. Oh, maybe there is a place to train. Please, Cadet, here you can register for the combat simulation program. The rewards are relatively small, but every bit of training counts. Select one squad member to fight enemies and earn a small amount of XP and Phantoma. In the training session, by selecting a board mission or exiting the arena. Is there uh, an end to this? Thank <laughs> you. 
Please, can I? I'm in charge of the secret training program. Here you can face off with your comrades in arms and friends from Academia. Select one squad member to earn XP and stat boosts in between play sessions. Longer training sessions earn higher bonuses, but results vary by cadet and partner. Only one squad member can participate at a time. Participants cannot choose their instructors. Longer training allows participants to fight more times, but there is a limit on how many times one can train each session. <laughs> I believe you can manipulate the game clock to uh, level up people like that. Now that. Rem got transferred to class zero with you guys, didn't she? Something I want to talk to her about. Just, look, just tell her to meet me here, okay? Uh, yeah, you can manipulate the... Um, not the game clock, sorry. The console clock. that test. I got an ether. <laughs> That's it. Hey, Remy, I mean, Remsky, I mean, Rem, I just wanted to say, uh, nice weather, is it? <laughs> say, why don't you take this? I thought... Maybe you like it? I mean, not that I'm always thinking about you or anything, just here. Okay. I think that's my first Phoenix Stone, so I'll take it. Who gave me the task I previously had? The game is weird, though. Um, I think I think we can um, chalk it up to PSP things.
Can I enter the forest? <laughs> you have a good life too, kitty. Thanks for hanging out. They probably should. Four? Two out of two. That's that's what it says, right? I can return. It's done. I don't really know how to read the game language.
So she holds and she's continuously attacking, huh? people as reserves. I need to change their order here. I don't love that. This girl is just Ross of the Crimson, isn't she? <laughs> there are way too many characters. If uh, what I understood is right, which is uh, there's characters that are like more powerful in specific missions, so you probably want to use them then. Uh, you probably want to keep everyone leveled. I guess that's why you can level them passively. But it's just one at a time. Excellent work. Thanks to your fair citizens can sleep in peace once more. Do accept this as a token of my gratitude. Glasses Prima Volume 2. What the hell is that? Well, there was uh, another request, but I can't fulfill it. Wait, they, they wanted to teach me about triple breeding, didn't they? Let's, uh, let's do that last. this why does why do I have to return here to use the portal to go to a different place again oh. it isn't the covenant class zero perhaps you can help me with a little something fetch a pretty pelt from one of the monsters in Corsi cave no I can't I don't have time for that anymore. I only have four hours left. It's like an oversight? I don't know. It feels weird, definitely. Seem like an altruistic soul, won't you help your fellow cadets? Hold a special rescue team to support personnel and have them provide backup for a cadet store and SPP. Uh, okay. I need to turn that in before mission day. Uh, 
I mean, if I can do it on a mission replay, then sure. Looking to learn a thing or two about breeding? And I thought kids your age knew darn near everything about all that. I say this here world is just full of surprises. What do you mean? Breeding is when you pair up a mama and the papa chocobo and they have the mama lay an egg. The chickling hatches from the egg and grows into a chocobo. It's the miracle of life. By pairing up the right chocobos and feeding them the right greens, I reckon you might be able to hatch a rare breed you don't often see in the wild. Sometimes they lay an egg or two, but I've heard that sometimes chocobos lay a whole heap of eggs. Breeding's a pretty darn stressful job for the chocobos, though, so we release them when they're done. How do I breed chocobos? Oh, that's it? That's what you, you already said? What are greens? I tell you, chocobos sure do love chomping on greens. There are all kinds of greens you can feed your chocobos when they breed. These old and cracky greens are pretty popular on account of their ability to produce rare breeds. All Pazana and Tental greens help pass down the traits of the mama or the pup. That there's about the gist of it. I reckon you'll come across other kinds of greens, but I'll let you test them out for yourself. Or use an internet guide. Up to you. That's what the internet is for, isn't it? Can go here. Except, except for the
no hay ópera. Ah. For those people who worked on the game, I have no idea. Alright, my dude. Who do you? So the, does this now count as me doing that side quest? If yes, that's mega weird. Does? Temple Slime Switch said thanks to your efforts, your kindness shall not go unrewarded. You back out to the main menu, you replay an older mission, and you fulfill the side quest in the in the main game. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, anyway, uh, I guess we're done for today. It's late. Um. That's, uh, that's been Final Fantasy Type-0, our very first look at it, very interesting game so far. Uh, um, 
definitely nice to play an older feeling Final Fantasy. Uh, not that I love the Lassi bullshit, but uh, hey, we haven't heard that a thousand million times like in Final Fantasy 13, so hopefully not that bad. <laughs> Uh, I'll be back tomorrow with more of this, so have a good night, thanks for hanging out, and I will see you then. Goodbye, goodbye.